Hello, we are going to the river. So again, I'm out and about with my little friend Cleveland, Labrador Cross Collie, and we're walking down to the River Dart. So I'm in Dartmoor National Park in Devon. This is not my local area and I am exploring today. I thought everyone seems to like it when I go out and about in the countryside. So it is the end of April. We are in Beltane Energies for any of you pagans out there. And I got a thing about rivers because I don't have any near me. Can you hear it? Not sure if the microphone can pick that up, but I can hear the river. So I want you just to ground yourself grow those roots out of your feet with each step that I take imagine those roots growing further and further and further pushing down through the soil and the rocks deeper and deeper into the ground I'm just going to bend down and show you some of the wild flowers here. We have Prima Rosa, first flower of spring. We have a bluebell, our national favourite flower. And this is some kind of harebell, I think beautiful little white stars. Come on Cleveland. All the trees are starting to sprout. The bracken is starting to grow. And in the northern hemisphere the energy is picking up for summer. So here we are at a crossroads. And we're going to head to the river. Come on, Cleveland. And once we get to the river, we shall sit down and enjoy the energies. So as you're grounding, we need to protect. And I want you to imagine a candle flame at the center of your being. And I want you to imagine that flame glowing and growing, pushing everything out that does not belong to you, that you don't want anymore, pushing out any anxiety, pushing out any emotional turmoil, pushing out any aches and pains and grow and glow that flame until it surrounds you, pushes through your auric fields and pushes everything out. And that is the strongest protection you can make for yourself because it comes from within you, from the pure part of your soul. Can you hear the water? Closer, I can see the water. Exciting. I'm not your normal average holiday maker. I enjoy finding little rocks and stones and nooks and crannies of the earth. Here we go. The river dark. 
and sit down at the bank. Oh, listen to that. Cleveland, you can have a drink when we get down here. Following the pathway and as with my other videos at the moment, I have a friend called Rosalind who is locked in under lockdown in Shanghai and I said I would record some of these for her so she can etherically leave her house or her flat. Here we are. Come on you. Breathe in and sigh out. find a spot to sit. Let's go over to that tree. We can't go any further than that because the bank is falling away. But I think we can rest here. Cleveland, if I let you off for the first time, are you, are you going to come back to me, Cleveland? You're going to come back, you're going to be a good dog. Shall I throw you a stick? Oh, straight in. Look at that water dog. Let's find a, a good stick. Cleveland? This is a bit nerve-wracking for me. I've not let this dog off a lead before. Sorry, I've gone quiet because I'm concentrating. <laughs> Let's walk down the bank with him a little bit. Look at him go. She told me he loved the water. You've lost your stick now, mate. And just imagine now. Oh, look, someone's left a little offering. I think we can sit here, can't we? Cleveland! Ooh. Look at that. <sighs> this is the life, isn't it? Cleveland. Oh, look at this. Just imagine taking your shoes and socks off and popping your feet in the water. Oh, he's got one, he's got a stick, here he comes. Look at it, it's bigger than him. Cleveland, come here. Cleveland. 
come here, I've got to attach you, there's another dog. Sorry people. Come on, let's go back down and sit by the water. That didn't last long, but it's not your fault. It's just that I'm too chicken to leave you. <sighs> so I'm going to find a spot to sit. I'm going to sit right here. Ah, in a wet dell. Just imagine, like I said, that your feet are hanging over into the river and all of that upset, all of that turmoil you may have had emptied into the stream or the river. And let it flow down the valley towards the sea taking all of that upset taking it away from you to be diluted in the salty water And then, you know the road you've got to go. Let's use these as stepping stones. You jump from one to the other. Across to where you need to go. myself here and put my feet on that rock and we'll just sit here now I may be able to scroll in a bit closer Sometimes in our life, things don't always go our way. Perhaps you've left the calm, tranquil part upstream. And as you travel through boulders and rapids, they block your way, but become like the water become fluid, move around what is in front of you, navigate that way. Until you get to the calmer part of the river downstream. And life is like that, but we need to become mutable like the water.
So I'm just going to maneuver myself here. We're going to walk upstream just a little bit again. want to look at this tree on this little outcrop found its own place and you will find your own place in the world on a little outcrop somewhere maybe where you didn't expect to be but life always finds a way and you may find yourself marooned on a little island but that is your island and your own space And there's another bigger island nearby and perhaps if you reach out you can find help if you need it Use the landscape around you for your healing. Even potted plants in the garden will help with that. You can bring their energy in. But if you have places like this, go and visit them. It is a tonic. I think now, just empty any last upset into that water. Take a deep breath in. And I'm going to leave you now. From the river dark. Thank you for watching. See you on another adventure.